blessings and welcome back to Inspirational Cafe. I'm your girl Rochelle here. I uplift, encourage, and inspire. Don't forget to hit that like button, share, and please subscribe. Let's dig in. How many of you know that God don't need our help? He's got it. Often because God doesn't move as swiftly as we think he should, we become frustrated, we become impatient, we become anxious, and often, more than not, we become irritated with God. We become irritated because God isn't moving at the speed that we think he should move. So then we try it this way, we try it that way, we simply move outside of God's will because we aren't patient. We're not patient. We feel like, oh, this should, have, this should have happened a long time ago. So maybe I'll just speed along the process. Maybe I'll help God out a little. So we think. We think we help, we, we're helping God out by speeding along the process, by doing things our way. And we know that as soon as we move outside of God's will, that's when we make a huge mess. We make a huge mess. And how many of you know that once you step outside of God's will, that's fair game for the enemy to come in and attack in many ways that we don't even want to think about. And I'm a witness because I've stepped outside of God's will a few times and I knew that I was outside of God's will. But I wanted to speed along the process because, you know, I felt like, you know, God, God is taking a little too long. You know, okay, this has been six months. This has been eight months. I mean, come on, God, what's going on? But we step outside of God's will and we make a mess, a huge mess. And guess what God does? Oh, yes, because he loves us. So he's going to chastise us because that's what he has to do. You know, just like your parents, oh, they love us to death. But when you do something wrong, oh, you know what's coming. We have to be chastised. As much as they love us, they have to chastise us because we need to learn, learn the lesson. We need to learn that it's not our way. It's the way of your mother or your father. And God is the same. We have to listen and be obedient to our father. So guess what he does? He chastises us and he makes us start the process all over again. I'm a witness. I know I've stepped outside of God's will a few times because I simply want, wanted instant gratification. And God doesn't work like that. If God spoke over your life, your only job is to pray, to trust to believe. Yes, you, you set plans. You set plans and you your, your steps are ordered by God. So then you do what he tells you to do, but you don't step outside of his will. You don't try to speed up the process because you're making a mess. When we step outside, and I say we, because I'm speaking of myself, once we step outside of God's will, what we do is we delay we delay the process and we have to simply start all over again. It's just like being in school. Whenever we try to cut someone in the line or whenever we're acting up and we may be closer to the water fountain or we may be closer to outside for recess. But once we act up, our teacher make us get out of the line and go to the very back. And what we have to do is we have to begin to work our way forward. And that's what God does. God makes us work our way forward again. Because when we step outside of his will, that's it. God says we have to be chastised. We have to simply be taught a lesson. And that's what he does for each and, each and every one of us that steps outside of his will and make a huge mess out of the entire situation. And I'm speaking from experience because as I stated, 
There have been several, in, several instances that I knew that I was outside of God's will, but I wanted to help him out. I wanted to move along the process. I simply didn't want to wait. You know, that's one of the most, that's, that's something that we have to learn to do. We're, we're very impatient. We don't want to wait. We want that instant gratification. But how many of you know with God, it's all in his timing. God will make you wait. He will make you wait. Even when you think you shouldn't wait, he'll make you wait. I'm a witness. God don't need our help. He's got it. He's no, he knows exactly what he's doing. He's all knowing. And he doesn't need any help from me, from you, or anyone else. We have to learn to be patient and not step outside of God's will, not cross boundaries with God. Often than not, we step outside of his will and do things our way and make a huge mess. We make a huge mess out of the situation. And then we become angry because God, he's going to correct us and he's going to show us exactly where we went wrong. And we'll say, oh my God, now I realize where I went wrong. What I shouldn't have done that. But he, he'll show you and make you repeat the process all over again because he doesn't need our help. He's got it. He's got it. I want to read with you all Philippians 4, 6 through 7. The word says, do not be anxious about anything. Do not be anxious about anything. But in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. It tells us, do not be anxious. And we know in many cases, we are very anxious. We can't wait on God to do a thing. If God has promised us that he will fulfill a dream, a goal, an achievement, He's purposed us with a gift. It doesn't mean that it's going to happen tomorrow. It doesn't mean that it's going to happen six months. It doesn't mean a lot of times that it's going to happen within that year. But we have to trust God. We have to pray and believe him and stay inside of God's will and not move outside of his will into our own. Often, that's the case. We want to move into our own will and not surrender our will to God. We know that we have to surrender our will, allow our will to align up with the will of Jesus Christ. There's no other way. But we cannot start the process and move into our own will or speed along, think that we're helping Christ out by speeding along things. By trying it this way or trying it that way. We can't do that because we'll make a huge mess out of the entire situation. And I'm a witness because I've been there. I figured I would help God out. And I had to start all over again. And believe me, he'll allow you to see exactly where you went wrong. Exactly where you missed the mark. And he'll make you. Start all over again because God doesn't need, he doesn't need our help. He's all knowing. He knows the plans, Jeremiah 29 and 11. He knows the plans that he has for each and every one of us. He says it's to prosper us, to give us hope and a future. So guess what? He know, he, he's all knowing. He already knows. He already knows our heart's desires. He already knows what he's spoken over our lives time and time again. He knows what we're going to do tomorrow, the next day, and the next day after that. 
So he doesn't need our help. He doesn't need us to speed along the process. He's all knowing. He's all powerful. He has all powers in his hands. Our job is to simply pray, trust, and believe. Seek him. Take him at his word. And to wait. Patiently wait on Christ. To fulfill that promise. To bring the past that heart's desire, that dream, those goals. Simply wait on God to do what he said he'll do. Take him at his word, but don't try to push the process because when you try to push it and do it your way, you're making a mess and you have to start over. You will start over. You will complete your assignment, but you'll have to come all the way from the back of the line and try to inch your way forward again because that's what our Heavenly Father will do. When we try to side of God's will, that's when God will show us that it's all about His will and not about ours. He'll allow us to see that no matter how, how much you think you're going to push along the process, you're only delaying it further. I want to encourage you. God don't need your help. All he needs you to do is trust and believe in him. Take him at his word. Pray. Give thanksgiving unto him before you even receive the blessing. But don't try to speed along the process. Don't try to step outside of God's will. Because it's all in God's timing, not in ours. I want to encourage you to wait on God, to trust and believe in him. Take him at his word, pray, read scripture, meditate on his word daily. But more than anything, wait on him because he doesn't need your help. He, he has it all under control. He's got this. Believe me, he's got it. As always, I'm Rochelle. This is Inspirational Cafe. Until next time, be blessed.